Today's video is another rendition of the supercharger project. Last video we got the inlet tube all done. Um, go check that video out if you haven't already. It should be my last upload. Um, and in this one, I'm gathering parts and should be finalizing it pretty soon here. Um, first startup should be in another video, but we'll be working on um, some of the intake stuff and maybe like cold air intake and a pod filter and vacuum lines. So let me show you what that looks like right now. All right guys, here we are. I've been gathering a lot of parts. I've um, got some vacuum line here. It's just a mess, clearly. So this is the AFM. Got this um, adapter. My old adapter was a different size and I just wanted to have the three inch, basically. Got this cheapo mushroom pod that will go on there. And then, running into an issue here. So this is a uh, 3.5 to 2.75 um, adapter. So this all fits on um, this AFM great. But basically, um, over here, there's not enough room between this throttle body plate and this uh, radiator. So I'm going to have it hook over by this like ABS module. So basically what I did is I ordered up this same um, silicone coupler but with a 45 degree bend on it. So I can hook it over towards that. So basically I'm waiting on parts right now. but. Yeah, some more stuff I got was these little fittings. So let me show you where I'm going to put those. It's going to be really nice to have these uh, weld-in fit fittings for um, just ease of use rather than these like um, tapped-in kind of deals. This just seems a lot better. It's a fully threaded bung. All right, guys, having a little experiment here, trying to see what boost pressure is going to make this actuator do its thing. So I got the old bike pump here and a vacuum line that fits just perfectly in there. And then I'm looking at this dial, and looking, looks like it just started right there, maybe it's at five pounds. And then all the way it's at eight. So I think it's an eight pound spring. That's 10 right there, and it's just maxed out. So it's under a 10 pound spring at least, so that's awesome. All right, I hate to show you this, I shouldn't show it until it is painted, but I got some, uh, basically it's JB Weld, and I covered up a lot of the spots um, that were previously either unwelded or, or welded. I covered up the two big triangles in here. Um, I know this seems a little bit like shady or whatever, but it's, it's going to hold, um, and I'm going to paint it and it'll look fine. And then I also added some threaded MPT, quarter inch MPT ports, just some bungs on here. I added three of them, so one there. I know it looks a little bit janky right now, but I'm gonna be painting both of these this, uh, this gray color. I was thinking about adding some dank sparkles, but I plan to start painting soon, so I taped up all the parts I didn't want painted, taped up the bottom of that. I'm just going to put that down and then where all the injectors go. So what is up? Just doing some dank painting. Got uh, this all painted up. See those dank sparkles? Looks ridiculous, but yeah, it's a nice neutral gray color and uh, all dry. Going to be taking the tape off and see what she looks like. Just threw it back all together, got it all painted up. You can see the dank little sparkles there. Taking a look at how to route these vacuum lines and, oh sorry, this is the injector plug, but yeah. So this is gonna be the top one, that's gonna go to vacuum. And then this bottom one's gonna go to boost. And then in the middle of that, I'm gonna intercept it with this uh, boost uh, turner upper dealy. Um, yeah, just threw the inlet tube back on, checking this out, so this, there's a fitting down here and it's kind of on the alternator. This will come up a little bit, it's not on all the way tight. I don't love that, but it's not a whole lot I can do. Um, maybe I could like protect that hose. It's 
it's not like technically touching, but it's like resting on it if you want it to. So my plan here is the stock fuel pressure regulator is going to go into a T. It's going to T into this boost line right here. And then the other side of the T is going to go into this like boost upper dealy and then into there. So it's just going to be the like uh, bypass valve actuator and the stock fuel pressure regulator on this one port. And then there's going to be another port in the back. You can't see it, but it's like right there. It's going to have a 90 degree fitting. And that's going to run down to the FMU down here. Um, yeah, you can't even see it. It's super hidden. So. But yeah, that's the plan so far. I'm still waiting on parts. All right, just got some parts in the mail. I've already cut this thing up a little bit. I know it looks hack, but trying to make this all work here uh, for the intake. So originally my plan, which would be the cleanest option, is to have this little coupler. It fits perfect on the throttle body and it goes right into this uh, AFM. But basically there was no room and it was hitting this uh, radiator. So I got the same thing but a 45 degree bend and that's going to go on there and then this AFM and pod will stick up over this ABS unit. I don't love it, but that's the only way to make it fit because this AFM is so huge. So if you didn't understand that, here it is all together. It's actually up tight and I can't pull it off, so I think it should be good. Um, yeah. The AFM plugs in, the uh, TPS plugs in. This wire is probably a little short since it's stretched out, but it's not like tight, you know, I can pull it. So yeah, it's a little bit crazy, but yeah, the pod sticks up a tiny bit. I hope that there'll be hood clearance, um, but we'll have to figure that out when we put the hood on. Yeah, um, got this line here I was gonna put to the uh, oil catch can. It is already pretty jumbled over there, so we'll see where that oil catch is gonna go, but. What up? Just got back from Menards, picked up a few little bits. See right there, I capped that vacuum line off. And then right here, got the uh, T going, boost coming in to the T, and it's going to the uh, um, fuel pressure regulator, and it's going to the uh, boost um, the manual boost controller and then to the uh, essentially a wastegate actuator and then back here we got the light back here you see that vacuum line added a port back there and that goes down to the FMU right there and then that line also goes to the uh, boost gauge so Yep, just two ports using right now, but there's one in the front with that blue thing on it. Uh, right, right there. So, can run one more maybe for like an adjustable fuel pressure regulator or something like that. Wrapping it up here actually, um, got everything tightened down. All the bolts everywhere, all the way around. Supercharger for the, uh, onto the head for the lower manifold. Got the throttle body all tightened up. Everything's all plugged in. Um, I think the last thing is getting this belt on. And uh, the belt I got up here, one's like 1,030 millimeters long, and one's 1,080. And they're both too dang small. So got to figure out this belt. So I'm wondering if I heat up the belt in some hot water how much length it'll change. So I'm gonna do a little calculation on that and maybe try that out. But I might have to get a longer belt, so unmint. All right, these belts are too small, so I literally boiled them in a pot like spaghetti. Uh, I calculated it, I think, right, and it could change from like half to an inch in length. I don't know if that's right, it seems like a lot. But hey, gonna try it out, see if it works. Well, that didn't work. Gonna go to Napa and get some larger sizes of these V-belts, uh, maybe like three steps of them, just slightly bigger, a little bit bigger, and then way bigger. 
Just got the belt on. Check out how tight this thing is. Crazy. I had to take, there's like two ribs here that are on the, the front crank pulley. I had to take that off, put the belt on, and then bolt it back on. Um, it's pretty easy actually. It's just six bolts. So yeah, this is wicked tight. I think it'll actually work without a belt tensioner for a little while. I'm sure it'll slip, but just to like first start, you know? There's a lot of stuff that's a little bit hacky, or not hacky, but just not done yet, like no oil catch can here. Um, this, I don't have the part in yet, so I just used the stock um, uh, check valve, and then this crazy big loop, but I have a 90 degree T one coming, so it'll be a lot cleaner. So just little stuff like that, but yeah, it's looking sick. I'm gonna start it up really soon. All right, one last thing. Check out this dank cold air intake. It's gonna go in the uh, fog light. I just cut up this old fog light that was cracked. Put this in there to down to 2.75. Goes right in there. And then when you put in this pipe, there's a perfectly sized hole right down below this pod, right in here, this hole. This fits perfectly in there. So I'll just route this into that circle, which will be right there. And it'll shoot right at that pod, so. These two will be connected together with a 90 degree bend. Should be awesome. That'll be really easy. Just shove some air, just push it right at this. But yeah, this thing's ready to go. Belt's tight. I'm just gonna look over everything and make sure. I'm pretty nervous, so.